Morning. This is your advanced core circuit A, the easiest of the three advanced core circuits. We have six exercises to go through. All you really need is a band. I have two different bands here, um, but you can just move it. One will need to be higher and then lower, so you can just have one band um, and the rest are body weight. So um, we'll go ahead and get started. Um, you can always check out the individual video links if you need more details or just need to practice these on your own to make sure you have them down with proper form. First one here is alternating leg lifts with your head lifted. So wrap your hands above your head here and you're gonna take a good deep inhale. Exhale, lift that head and one leg at a time as you exhale. And repeat, come down in between. Keep that pelvis stable. Don't let a lot of rocking going on, go on there. One more here. Again, if that one's too hard, you can also just stay here and do leg lifts on your back, okay? Making sure you're keeping everything stable, core engaged. Next, we're going to come up into a side plank on your knees. So go ahead and lift up, shoulder directly over elbow. We're going to do about five to six breaths here. So get good inhales and exhales. Slightly lean forward rather than leaning back. Make sure those obliques are getting on board here. If you tend to carry your uh, newborn or toddler or baby um, once they're a little older and you're kind of carrying them on one hip, um, if you carry them on one side more than the other, I recommend doing double the side planks on the side you carry them the most to help strengthen that side. And rest here. So for me, I carry mine on the left more than the right. And so I usually try to uh, make sure I'm working that left, those left obliques a little bit more also. Uh, and also try to switch sides when you're carrying your uh, infant or toddler. I know it's hard, but it really is good to prevent muscle imbalances. To, so switch it up. Keep everything in line here, trunk in line, head, neck, shoulder directly over elbow. Set you up for the stacked position so you can get some good deep inhales and exhales while holding your side plank. So next we have a standing pile up press. So I'm going to pull the band. So you want some tension on the band. Keep the band at your midline. Give me a good inhale, exhale. Press the band away, don't let it rotate you. This is an anti-rotation exercise. Inhale, exhale from the bottom up. Keep rib cage stacked over your pelvis. We're gonna do about six here. And switch sides. We're going to turn around and do the other side. So same thing, band at the midline, go ahead and deep inhale, exhale, engage your abdominal wall, keep from the bottom up, lower abs first, then middle, then upper. Help you keep your ribs stacked over your hips and pelvis. Exhale as you press that band away. Okay, and next 
next we have the half kneeling banded rotation. So you're gonna grab your band, that same band, just move it down maybe a little bit lower. Come to a half kneeling position and you are going to exhale and this time we are moving through rotation, rotating with that band slowly, letting it come back. So controlling that um, back to the start position. Inhale, exhale. more here using our abs to rotate we want to rotate and we also want to be able to resist rotation so we're working anti-rotation the previous exercise rotation of our trunk using our abdominals in this exercise Squeeze that back glute, get that glute fire that can help you stay balanced here in this half kneeling position. And relax. We are going to then come onto the floor and we're doing uh, lean backs here. So we are going to hold for a little bit longer. So we're going to hold for one inhale and exhale as we come back. So deep inhale to start. Expand into your whole back body. Ribcage moves to the side. Exhale. Come back. Inhale, exhale. Come up. shoot for six reps here make sure that lower belly is flattening and not pooching out on your exhale if it is you may be may need to just come down and right back up maintaining your exhale or you may need to go back up to the chair okay so let's do a couple more reps here try to change your exhale though play around with your core engagement um, see if that changes it. One more. Okay. And last exercise here is quadruped. So on your hands and knees, knee hovers or quadruped beast. So we are going to do a good 360 inhale. Exhale, engage those deep abs, hover the knees slightly, hold for a pause and come down. Deep inhale, exhale. If you're having trouble finding your deep abs here in this exercise, um, as you exhale slightly tuck under using those deep abs and then hover your knees. That might help you find more stability here if you're having a hard time. That, that helps me. I feel more stable when I do that. Again, you're tucking under using your little abs, not your glutes, so don't squeeze the glutes here. for about six to eight reps. And once you have six to eight reps there, go ahead and rest. And that is it. We have those six exercises. Um, make sure to try to go through two to three rounds of those six exercises if you have the time. Um, and check out the um, individual video links on your own so that you can practice Make sure you're doing these with good form. Um, video yourself if you need to. That's a great way to watch your abdomen, um, see how you're managing pressure. And again, if you're experiencing any heaviness, pressure in the pelvic area, leaking, pain, 
anything like that with any of these exercises, please reach out or um, look and try making a modification and see if that helps for the time being.